26 days ago, the research vessel Melville departed Arica, Chile, carrying 38 researchers from the Center for Microbial Oceanography, Research and Education, or CMOR. CMOR is a multi-institutional collaboration having strong ties with the international community. The goal of this expedition was to explore the chemistry and microbiology of one of the most remote and least studied regions of the world's oceans. So we're wrapping up our last full day of science here in the South Pacific. Uh, as I speak, we're recovering the productivity arrays from off uh, the fantail. Uh, from here, we'll go and recover the sediment traps, uh, grab some water from about two miles deep in the ocean, and at that point, uh, our science will come to an end, and we'll spend uh, the next day or, and more just packing up our samples and packing up our gear for shipment back to the United States, Spain, and Chile. Uh, it's been a great trip. We're all very pleased and excited about the way everything's gone. Uh, we saw these huge gradients in the chemistry and microbiology from the inshore upwelling high productivity station that we started our cruise at and this very oligotrophic station out here in the gyre. Um, we also found a, a, a number of surprises along the way. We weren't expecting to come across that very intense red dinoflagellate bloom that we sampled. Those blooms are extremely hard to predict and therefore very hard to study and we feel very lucky that we were actually able to, to find one came across it unexpectedly, but we had all the people and equipment here to study that. So that was a real bonus on this trip. We also were very pleased about how deep the chlorophyll maximum is out here. And from our chemical and microbiological analysis that we've performed so far, it looks to be much more complicated than we thought. So within the space of only a few meters, the communities appear to change, the chemistry changes, and that's a really fascinating result from this study and something that we will be looking at when we get back to the lab and analyze these samples for DNA and RNA. The other really cool thing we've been able to do are these very large, complicated experiments to study the microbial community out here. Uh, these experiments are, are very difficult to plan and coordinate, and we're very fortunate to have such a great group of scientists from all over the world, from Vigo in Spain, from Concepcion in Chile, and from across the U.S. We were here, we got to talk about the experiments, uh, you saw in some of the videos how difficult it is to coordinate the sampling and the choreography involved to make those experiments successful, but uh, they were ex successful beyond our hopes and we think that they'll serve as a model for experiments in the future. And finally, we're very excited about just the data set that we collected here and our ability to compare that with similar data sets from the North Pacific at Station Aloha off Hawaii. And at Station Aloha, many of the insights we have into the microbiology of the ocean have come from uh, the 10 and 20 year studies that have been conducted there. So this area of the ocean, the South Pacific, has been very understudied. Uh, we know very little about it. And we think that by comparing the data down here from the, what we've uh, collected off of Hawaii will just be a, a very nice comparison. and It will show us why, how these communities are the same and how they're different and really give us insights to those processes involved. So uh, we've been out here a long time. We've traveled a long way, put in uh, long hours. Uh, the cruise has taken us away from our homes and our families for more than a month. Uh, but I think everyone on board feels like it was well worth the trip. Even though the expedition is ending, Seymour researchers will continue to collaborate by analyzing the samples collected and synthesizing all of the data to gain a better understanding of microbial processes in the ocean. Thanks for following along.